Many are called, yet only a few are chosen. This profound message from Matthew 22:14 isn't merely words, it's a call to something far beyond the ordinary. Welcome, dear chosen ones. This message isn't meant for the casual passerby, nor is it for those who might happen to stumble upon it accidentally. No, this message is exclusively for you, the selected souls, those whom the universe has carefully, purposefully set apart for something far greater. If you are here, know that it's not by mere chance. It's a sign, a signal from the depths of the universe confirming your unique path. If you feel a pull within, an undeniable energy flowing and stirring in your spirit, I urge you, stay with me through every second of this journey. What you're about to witness will deeply resonate within you, illuminating aspects of your journey in a way that may feel like a sacred revelation. For those who do not understand or who have not been chosen, this video isn't meant for you. To those individuals, these truths might appear unsettling, confusing, or even threatening. But for you, yes you, the one reading these words right now, who feels a quiet certainty deep within your soul you understand. Somewhere within you recognize that you are different. You know that you have been called to something greater, something that stretches beyond the everyday. This is your spiritual message, and what's about to unfold is for you alone. Allow me to share with you why chosen ones are not just unique, they are feared. Today, I will uncover the reasons why the world fears those who are divinely set apart, and it isn't for the reasons most would expect. This fear has little to do with wealth, fame, or social status. No, it's much more profound. It's about your very essence, your spirit, your mission, and the power that you inherently carry within. First, let us talk about the unshakable confidence that radiates from the Chosen Ones. One of the core reasons that Chosen Ones are feared lies in this unique confidence, a confidence that doesn't arise from mere worldly accomplishments, accolades, or the approval of others. No, this confidence is deeply, firmly rooted in a divine knowing a certainty that you are fulfilling a purpose far greater than yourself. This is a confidence that goes beyond the shallow foundations of ego or pride. It is unyielding because it emerges from a place of truth, a truth that you carry within you that resonates with your higher purpose. Those around you feel this confidence, it's as if they sense it the moment you walk into a room. You might not need to say a single word, but still, your presence speaks volumes. The strength of your inner knowing becomes palpable to those near you, a quiet yet undeniable authority that doesn't need validation or approval to assert itself. In a world where many are desperately seeking validation trapped in cycles of doubt, fear and self-questioning, this unbreakable confidence stands in stark contrast. For those who look outward for approval from friends, society or the masses, you, chosen one, have found something beyond all of that. You possess a confidence grounded in spiritual awareness, an awareness that rises above the everyday concerns and anxieties that trap others. This knowledge empowers you, allowing you to move through life freely, unbound by the need to fit in or to conform to the expectations others place upon you. This spiritual foundation creates a sense of fear in others because, let's face it, most people are uncomfortable with that kind of self-assurance. It challenges their understanding of themselves, forcing them to confront their insecurities and doubts. When we don't understand something, Human nature urges us toward caution or even fear as we protect ourselves from the unknown. And so the chosen ones move through life with an aura of mystery, a calm, unshakable presence that contrasts sharply with the clamor and noise of the outside world. Their confidence isn't the loud, boastful kind. It's a quiet, steady assurance, like the deep currents of a river flowing firmly beneath the surface, unseen but powerfully persistent. Their path isn't lined with grand proclamations or endless reminders of their worth. Instead, it's a silent journey, driven by a peaceful conviction that's almost palpable to those they encounter. And this unassuming yet profound self-assuredness can stir an uneasy awareness in others. 
It nudges people to question their own uncertainties, to reflect on their own insecurities, and at times, to feel the weight of their own fragile sense of self. The core of this calm, confident presence is a deep spiritual grounding, an internal connection that goes beyond the distractions of the material world. Those with this inner alignment don't chase the transient thrills of temporary pleasures or superficial successes. They are attuned to a calling, a mission that transcends personal gain or immediate gratification. This grounding gives them an anchor, a stability that doesn't waver with trends, popularity, or the rise and fall of worldly fortunes. Their worth is not a currency determined by possessions or social status, rather. It flows from a place that is not tied to this physical realm. It's a worth rooted in a higher understanding, a connection to the divine, a purpose that is woven into the fabric of their being. Their sense of self stems from this connection to something larger, something more profound than what can be measured in this material plane. In a society that often glorifies achievement, wealth and status, such spiritually grounded individuals stand out. And standing out for these reasons can be intimidating to others. When people meet someone whose existence isn't defined by material gain, who has opted out of the constant rush for approval, they're forced to confront their own choices, often leaving them unsettled. Most spend their lives locked in a cycle, striving for things they believe will fill the void but ultimately don't bring lasting peace or satisfaction. But those with a chosen path know a different truth they've realized that true fulfillment arises not from external validation but from walking in their purpose, from aligning with their higher mission. This clarity of purpose allows them to navigate the world with a focus that's rarely derailed by temporary temptations. Moreover, another compelling aspect of chosen individuals is their authority, which doesn't come from a need to be seen, liked, or affirmed by others. They carry an inner strength that doesn't rely on external validation. While most are caught in a loop of seeking approval from social circles, career success, or social media, the chosen ones operate differently. Their validation comes from within, from a connection to the Creator or the universe itself. This intrinsic acknowledgement is enough for them. They don't seek the constant reinforcement of their worth through others, because they're already aware of their value on a deeper level. This type of authority, free from the need for external confirmation, is rare and undeniably powerful. Your journey through life unfolds with a quiet yet undeniable power, one that doesn't beg for permission to exist or seek validation for its worth. You embody a profound sense of self-assuredness, rooted in a deeply personal understanding that you do not need anyone's approval to live authentically. This intrinsic authority you possess is steadfast and calm, revealing itself not in boastfulness, but in an unshakable confidence that others sense immediately. It radiates without a word, creating a presence that moves through any space with quiet strength and composure. People can feel it the weight of your being, the clarity of your purpose without you having to utter a single sentence. Your spiritual vision empowers you to see through the noise, revealing the essence behind situations, people, and events. Where many may be swayed by appearances, trends, and external pressures, you remain focused on a frequency that transcends the material. This makes you impervious to the pull of illusions and unaffected by the sway of mass opinion. While others become entangled in the chase for fame, wealth, or validation, you observe these pursuits for what they truly are ephemeral, ultimately insignificant in the broader scheme of existence. People often fear what they cannot comprehend, and your ability to see through deception unsettles them. They realize that their manipulations are useless against someone like you, someone who sees the truth, even when it is veiled. In a world where illusion often masquerades as reality, your clarity is a rare, fearsome gift. You are a presence that reflects back to others their own insecurities and the illusions they cling to, revealing truths they may prefer to ignore. Your spiritual clarity unsettles those who are more comfortable hiding behind facades, avoiding their own inner truths. 
They sense that in your presence there is no hiding, no pretending. Your vision pierces through superficiality, compelling others to confront the things they might otherwise evade. For them, you are both a mystery and a reminder of realities they are not prepared to face. There's an undeniable power in discernment, an innate gift that not everyone possesses. For those with this ability, it's like having an inner compass that aligns with truth, unwavering in the face of deception. This power acts as a spiritual radar, sensitively attuned to what lies beneath the surface of words and appearances. It's as though you're gifted with a sixth sense that navigates you through layers of energy, making it almost impossible for anything false or concealed to remain hidden from you. Walking into a room, you don't just notice people you feel them. You sense unspoken emotions, detect concealed motives, and perceive the invisible threads that link words, intentions, and actions. This depth of perception naturally makes others uncomfortable, for they realize that in your presence, their carefully constructed facades stand. The impact of this gift reaches beyond the superficial. It gives you an understanding that is sharp enough to discern lies woven into seemingly harmless conversations or sense discomfort hidden behind smiles. It's like a finely tuned inner instrument, which operates on a frequency others cannot hear. The awareness you carry is too precise to ignore, and people sense it, even if they don't understand it. Their discomfort becomes evident in nervous gestures, sidelong glances, or forced laughs, for they feel laid bare, exposed to someone who can see beyond their pretenses. It's no wonder that this ability sparks fear. Those who harbor secrets, insecurities, or hidden agendas know instinctively that you might unveil what they work so hard to mask. It's not a skill that can be learned, for this discernment is a gift of the spirit, deeply rooted in a sense of divine awareness. Equally powerful is the gift of foresight, another hallmark of the chosen. This ability extends far beyond mere intuition or hunches. You carry a vision, a prophetic insight, that enables you to perceive shifts and changes in the spiritual and physical realms alike. Sometimes it comes as a vivid dream, a symbolic vision, or a gut feeling so strong that it feels like a certainty. With these visions, you are often a step ahead, able to foresee changes that will shape not only your path but possibly even the lives of others or the world at large. This gift isn't limited to moments of personal revelation, it is a continuous awareness of the subtle undercurrents of life's events and energies. This prophetic vision is often difficult for others to understand, let alone accept, because it defies rational explanation. Those in positions of power are especially unsettled by this ability, for it robs them of the control they seek to maintain. There is a vulnerability that the powerful feel when faced with someone who cannot be easily swayed by their agendas or manipulated by their narratives. You are, in their eyes, a disruptor of their carefully maintained structures of influence. The chosen ones see through layers of societal control, uncovering manipulations and detecting corruption with an accuracy that feels almost surgical. Where others may be swayed by promises or deterred by fear, you remain unmoved, seeing the reality that exists beyond the illusions. It is this resilience and insight that marks you as a threat to systems and structures that thrive on secrecy. This is why you are not like others. You have been chosen because your sight, both in discernment and foresight, is uniquely attuned to a higher truth. This power may isolate you at times, misunderstood by many and feared by others. Yet it is not a burden, it is a responsibility. Your presence calls for authenticity, integrity, and the pursuit of truth, not just for yourself but for all those around you. In a world where deception often prevails, the chosen are reminders of a deeper reality, a testament that truth, once seen, cannot be unseen. And for those who wish to conceal their intentions, your light is an undeniable challenge, for in the presence of the chosen, the hidden must always come to light. Those who stand apart in the world often find themselves met with fear, 
especially when they occupy spaces that society usually reserves for the compliant or the docile. They are not molded by societal norms, nor bound by the expectations of worldly systems instead, they walk to the beat of a higher calling. This allegiance to something beyond the immediate, the temporal, or the visible makes them enigmatic, even intimidating, in the eyes of those who find comfort and control. Because their commitment isn't to the leaders or narratives of this world, their unpredictable nature can be unsettling, leaving those who thrive on conformity unable to anticipate or influence them. But to live outside the dominant cultural or social narrative is a radical stance. Often, these individuals, guided by intuition and a hunger for truth, don't accept the world's popular stories at face value. They dig deeper, constantly questioning and challenging what others may accept without hesitation. This habit of examining everything critically, of not simply aligning with societal standards or blindly engaging with cultural fads, often places them at odds with the majority. As a result, they are labeled as rebellious or even dangerous, not because they wish to incite chaos, but because their commitment to higher truths positions them on a path separate from that of the crowd. Their non-conformity stems not from defiance, but from a deep-seated alignment with spiritual insight and inner wisdom, often confusing or even frightening to those invested in maintaining societal norms. Society's structure thrives on compliance and consensus, and anyone who refuses to fall in line challenges this delicate balance. When a person doesn't conform, it sends ripples through the system, igniting apprehension in those invested in its stability. This person becomes a disruptor by nature, simply by choosing authenticity over assimilation. It is not an easy journey, walking as a chosen one, as it often means traveling alone, with few truly understanding their path or the reasons behind their choices. Judgment, misunderstanding, and in some cases, social isolation are familiar companions. Yet these challenges are a small price to pay for staying true to their unique calling. They are not here to blend in or to support a system they perceive as flawed. They are here to inspire change, to awaken others, and to shine a light into spaces where ignorance or darkness has taken root. What unnerves others most is the seeming invincibility of such a spirit. No matter how much hardship they face, no matter how often they are knocked down, they rise again each time more resilient than before. Like the mythical phoenix, they emerge from every trial reborn, stronger and wiser, undeterred by any attempt to suppress or weaken them. They possess a profound understanding that their purpose has been divinely ordained, and with that knowledge comes an unbreakable confidence that fortifies them. They know that the challenges they face are not designed to break them but to prepare them, to shape them into the people they need to become to fulfill their destiny. This perception transforms suffering into strength and fear into fortitude, leaving them with an unshakable spirit that many find impossible to comprehend, much less subdue. In the end, those who live according to a higher calling stand as both a beacon of inspiration and a symbol of quiet resistance. Their path is not for the faint-hearted, and it requires a level of commitment and resilience few are willing to embrace. But it is through this journey that they come into their full power, becoming unstoppable forces for change and bearers of light in a world that often fears what it does not understand. Each hardship only fuels their spirit, a flame that cannot be extinguished but only burns brighter with every attempt to snuff it out. And it is in this enduring, indomitable spirit that they find the truest expression of their divine purpose, a mission they will continue to fulfill regardless of the obstacles that arise. This strength doesn't solely come from within. It's the connection to something higher, something beyond this world's transient offerings. You draw upon a vast reservoir, an infinite well of strength that comes not from wealth, fame, validation, or any of society's hollow idols, but from the divine itself, from the universe that holds mysteries beyond human comprehension. This connection, this lifeline to the infinite, fuels you through the trials that would otherwise leave others defeated. 
It sustains you through the darkness, keeps you steady when all else feels lost, and guides you when the path seems obscured. Those who do not understand this connection, those bound by earthly chains of materialism and societal validation cannot help but fear it. And because of this, you become untouchable, operating in a realm that most cannot reach or even comprehend. Your strength, this unwavering spirit, is a testament to your independence. It is rare, and it is powerful. You are not swayed by the opinions, judgments, or promises of those around you. Unlike many who depend on external affirmations for their sense of worth, security, or direction, you draw your power from within. You are fiercely independent, and this independence is a challenge to those who would otherwise seek to control or influence you. No one can sway you with promises of status, wealth, or acceptance. No one can bend you with fear, for you walk your path, undeterred and unfazed. In a world that thrives on dependency, on chains of obligation and societal pressures, your refusal to bow makes you both feared and admired. It unsettles those who cannot control you, for they recognize that no earthly force can sever you from your strength, your purpose, or your divine connection. You walk with a power that transcends what others understand. And because of this, you are, in essence, unstoppable. Do you feel the need for others' approval? Or do you walk a path shaped by your own choices, answering to a higher purpose that guides you? When you choose independence over reliance, you become a force, unstoppable and unrestrained. This independence ignites fear in others. People often fear those who stand alone, who need no external validation, because an unbreakable spirit is something they cannot easily comprehend or control. This world is full of people tethered to the opinions, resources, or influence of others, relying on them for stability or strength. Such dependence often breeds vulnerability, creating gaps in personal power. Yet, for you, dear Chosen One, there is a different truth. Your strength is uniquely yours, born from within and strengthened by the Divine. You carry a power that radiates from an untouchable core, grounded in something eternal and boundless. This power, rare and unwavering, defines you. It also makes you a force to be reckoned with, a presence that evokes both admiration and fear. In the face of adversity, you don't shrink. No, instead you rise, embracing every trial, every obstacle, as an opportunity to deepen your resilience. This resilience doesn't simply protect you from harm, it builds your spirit, making you bolder, tougher, more unshakable. Every moment of opposition, each instance of resistance, is a testament to your path and your purpose. If you weren't a force to be reckoned with, if your spirit weren't formidable, the forces that seek to oppose you would not feel the need to engage. But because you are chosen, marked with divine strength and purpose, you command attention and, inevitably, resistance. They sense what they cannot control, and they respond with apprehension. In a world where most people find comfort in the familiar and in the status quo, your very existence poses a kind of threat. You don't conform to the usual expectations, and your vision stretches far beyond the boundaries most are content to live within. You're not satisfied with mediocrity, nor with the countless limitations that society has imposed. Instead, you pierce through the surface, viewing the world through a lens that reveals its hidden potential and sees beyond its self-imposed walls. Because of this, you become a natural disruptor. You challenge entrenched systems, ideas, and beliefs that keep people locked into roles and perspectives that don't truly serve them. Many people find comfort in categories and definitions, especially when it comes to other people. Society loves to label, to sort, to compartmentalize. It wants to fit everyone neatly into boxes that serve its purpose boxes that limit individuals to set roles and expectations. Yet you defy those categories. You exist beyond the confines of labels and beyond the definitions that people attempt to place upon you. You aren't shaped by societal norms or cultural boundaries. You don't allow yourself to be diminished by other people's fears or confined by what they've been conditioned to believe. 
This boundary-breaking nature that you embody challenges everyone around you, creating a kind of discomfort in those who are unwilling to open themselves to new possibilities. When you enter a room, it's not just your words or actions that cause a stir, it's the very energy you bring. The light you carry forces people to face their own limitations and insecurities, compelling them to see the fears they've kept buried. For some, this light is a gift, an awakening they might not have otherwise sought. But for many others, it's profoundly unsettling. This light disrupts the comfortable illusions they've crafted, shining into spaces that they would prefer to leave untouched. Your energy doesn't allow them to remain in their comfort zones, and that in itself is seen as a threat. Instead of accommodating this resistance, you continue to shine unapologetically, knowing that this is your path. You're not here to keep people comfortable, you're here to bring truth, to dismantle the shadows of ignorance, and to disrupt the illusions that prevent growth. In many cases, your transformation isn't something you just carry within its spreads. Like an awakening force, you stir something in others that's difficult to ignore. When people encounter your presence, something within them awakens, whether they are conscious of it or not. This might mean a new level of questioning, a shift in perspective, or even a re-evaluation of long-held beliefs. You serve as a mirror, reminding people of the paths they've chosen, the beliefs they've accepted, and the lives they're leading. For those who've lived life on autopilot, simply following societal rules without reflection, this awakening can be terrifying. They're used to a routine, a sense of predictability, and the idea of questioning that order can feel like a loss of control. For those who are hesitant to step into awareness, the journey may feel unsettling. To those who are called to awaken, remember you aren't here to control or take responsibility for how others react to your unique energy. Your purpose lies beyond the reactions of others. It's a calling to awaken, to bring transformative change, and to emanate light. Some people will welcome this energy with open hearts, recognizing the truth you bring while others may respond with apprehension or even rejection. But this is not your concern. Your mission is to stay rooted in your light, to press forward with unwavering dedication to your path, and to be a catalyst for positive transformation. This role is profound, for chosen ones like you affect not only those around you but contribute significantly to the broader consciousness of humanity. The presence of Chosen Ones impacts more than just individual lives it ripples through the collective consciousness, creating waves that reach far and wide. Every breakthrough, every realization you have contributes to the awakening of others. Each time you peel back a new layer of understanding, each step you take towards self-empowerment, you play a part in lifting the consciousness of the world. This isn't just a personal journey, it's part of a vast, interconnected movement toward enlightenment, an awakening spreading across humanity. It is this powerful, expanding consciousness that unsettles those who prefer the status quo, who seek to keep people unaware and controlled. They recognize the shift, they sense the elevation of understanding, and they feel a loss of control. As a chosen one, you embody the emergence of new energy, energy that uplifts, enlightens, and liberates. What does it mean to carry divine authority? It means existing beyond worldly limitations, grounded in a power that is timeless, boundless, and sacred. As a chosen one, you are attuned to this divine source, drawing wisdom, truth, and guidance that cannot be matched by earthly institutions or societal norms. This authority doesn't come from people, titles, or systems. It's a spiritual mandate from the Creator, placing you in alignment with universal principles and divine will. When you act, speak, or simply exist within this authority, your influence reaches beyond the visible world. You are not merely an individual acting on your own. You are a representative of a higher, sacred purpose. To walk with divine authority is to embody a strength, clarity, and presence that deeply impacts the world around you. Every word spoken, every action taken carries a gravity that resonates on multiple levels, both seen and unseen. This transcendent power is the ultimate reason some may fear you, 
for you represent something they cannot control or contain a force connected to universal truth and infinite wisdom. You stand as a testament to a larger divine movement, an unstoppable shift that seeks to uplift, inspire, and transform all of humanity. The world is indeed transforming, and as a chosen one, you are one of the essential forces shaping this profound change. Worldly authority is fleeting. Power derived from positions within political systems, corporate hierarchies, or societal structures often provides a temporary sway over the material world. But these forms of authority are constrained, they ebb and flow like the tides, bound by the limitations of human constructs. In contrast, your power originates from a source beyond these confines. It is not tethered to temporal shifts, nor is it restricted by the boundaries of human structures or limitations. This power flows from the divine, an unbreakable force that exists outside the dimensions of time and space. It operates in realms that worldly power cannot penetrate, making it something otherworldly and indomitable. Because of this, you are perceived as a challenge and unsettling presence to those who operate solely within the sphere of worldly control. The essence of your authority does not reside in the physical, nor does it rely on dominance or coercion. Those who hold power in the world sense this difference, and it is something that unnerves them. They understand that your strength is beyond their reach, a force they cannot subdue or manipulate, no matter how hard they try. They recognize that your authority exists beyond their understanding, and this makes them wary. Their power can be questioned, weakened, or even taken away by circumstances, but the force that drives you is unwavering and eternal. Your presence alone becomes a reminder of the limits of their control and the vastness of true power. This dynamic is evident in how you command respect. Unlike traditional forms of authority that often demand recognition, your authority is inherent and self-evident. People are naturally drawn to acknowledge it without you needing to assert or insist upon it. When you align yourself with divine purpose, people perceive an inexplicable strength in your presence. It is not loud, nor is it aggressive, but it is undeniably felt by those around you. This quiet, calm authority emanates from a place of inner conviction, not from a need for validation or dominance. It's an energy that cannot be ignored or suppressed, as it is rooted in a truth that transcends ego or self-interest. Your presence has an aura of tranquility, a force that doesn't need to be broadcasted because it's recognized on a deeper level. Your way of speaking further amplifies this profound authority. When you speak, it is not just from personal experience or belief. Your words resonate with a depth of spiritual understanding, a wisdom that transcends mere opinion. They carry a weight that demands attention, not because they are loud or forceful, but because they are infused with a truth that pierces through surface-level perceptions. This is not just the power of a well-phrased idea, it is the power of truth itself. It's as if the divine is speaking through you, using your voice as a vessel for a message that needs to be heard. People may try to ignore it, but it's almost impossible to do so because there is something undeniably real in your words. They feel the energy behind them, an authority that challenges falsehoods and illusions, revealing realities that people often choose to ignore. This spiritual authority is what makes your words impossible to disregard. People who have built their lives on superficial comforts, illusions or falsehoods are often unsettled by such clarity. Your words shake them out of complacency, waking them up to truths they may have spent their lives avoiding. It's not just what you say that is daunting, it's the fact that your words resonate on a level that bypasses their defenses. This truth penetrates deep, acting as a seed that, once planted, takes root and grows. It becomes a force that cannot be unspoken, something that lingers and grows over time, revealing itself in ways that cannot be silenced or erased. Those who cling to the comfort of ignorance may attempt to resist your truth. They may try to discredit or even silence you, but the impact of what you bring into the world endures. 
Truth has a way of finding its way into hearts and minds, even when it's resisted. It is a force that, once introduced, changes everything. It opens doors of awareness, awakens souls, and shifts perspectives. This, more than anything, is why your power is so feared. You are a bearer of truth, a living reminder of something beyond this world, and that is something no earthly force can fully comprehend or control. The world, once familiar and comfortable, shifts in ways most people are unprepared for when a chosen soul walks among them. This rare individual, carrying the weight of a higher purpose, moves through life in alignment with something profoundly beyond the material, deeply unsettling to those around them. They don't merely exist, they embody the essence of divine will. This embodiment is intimidating because it serves as a constant reminder of paths others chose not to walk, or perhaps never even dared to imagine. For many, looking upon such a person is a daunting experience. It forces them to confront the quiet discontent in their own souls, the uneasy feeling that they've strayed from their true path. This discomfort intensifies as they realize that living in alignment with divine intent is not a distant, theoretical concept, but a real, achievable way of life, which the Chosen Ones personify. Those who are not ready for such revelations find themselves pulled back, gripped by their own fears, insecurities, and spiritual inertia. They come face to face with their own limitations and the stagnant areas they have chosen to ignore or accept as unchangeable. To the world at large, Chosen Ones are reminders of an existence beyond the physical. They point to a realm of truth and purpose where material wealth and societal status mean little. Living examples of alignment with the Divine, they unsettle people who have invested their lives in structures that deny this greater reality. There are systems economic, political, social that benefit from keeping individuals asleep to their spiritual potential. These systems, built on control, fear, and distraction, rely on people's inability to see beyond the tangible. They tremble at the thought of someone who does not conform, who cannot be controlled through the usual means, and who answers to a calling higher than any earthly authority. The presence of Chosen Ones exposes the frailty of the control mechanisms built into society. Their lives illustrate a reality where true power is not in the hands of governments, corporations, or other institutions, but in alignment with the Divine. This truth, more powerful than any earthly authority, shatters the illusion of control that these systems have worked so diligently to maintain. Chosen ones do not play the games that keep others in line they cannot be bought, coerced, or subdued. This freedom renders them untouchable, terrifying to those who depend on obedience and conformity for their influence. The fears of those invested in worldly power extend even deeper, for Chosen Ones are living proof of an unstoppable force. Their connection to Divine will means they move through life with a purpose that transcends human limitations. Though they may encounter obstacles, experience hardships, and face resistance, nothing can ultimately thwart their path. Opposition may rise, but it cannot endure against a mission that has been ordained. When a life is ordered by the Divine, no worldly impediment can halt it indefinitely. People fear this reality, sensing that no matter how much they may attempt to interfere, they cannot block the flow of divine purpose. They realize, deep within, that there is something greater than themselves, greater than any human scheme. A chosen one's life speaks to this undeniable truth, proving that a mission aligned with the divine will persist, regardless of what human opposition it may encounter. The Chosen are living vessels of a purpose that will see its fulfillment, unfazed by fear, resistance, or even outright hostility. Ultimately, it is this combination of divine authority, unshakable purpose, and spiritual independence that renders Chosen Ones so feared. Their very existence is a testament to a force that human control cannot sway, a calling that earthly power cannot disrupt. Their path, guided by a higher wisdom, continues forward unyieldingly, and this strikes terror into those who cling to illusions of control. 
They cannot contain them, cannot limit their influence, and cannot halt the unstoppable momentum of a purpose that has been divinely sanctioned. This is the essence of the Chosen One's beings who embody the presence, power, and authority of a higher calling. They are guided by something beyond this world, and this makes them a formidable force, unstoppable in their pursuit of a destiny that has already been written by a power greater than any human hand. The journey of a Chosen One is a testament to the ultimate truth alignment with the Divine renders them untouchable, and their purpose, assured by higher will, will find its way to fulfillment. Your purpose is not confined to the realms of this world it originates from a divine source, transcending earthly definitions and limitations. You exist with a unique calling, one that commands respect by virtue of its authenticity and strength, requiring no demand for acknowledgement. Your words carry a weight of truth, resonating with a timeless authority that stands beyond human systems and structures. This truth you carry is both powerful and humbling, a beacon of something far greater, a constant reminder of the divine power governing all things. Many find you intimidating, not because of anything you enforce, but because you stand ungoverned by worldly expectations or the pressures to conform. Attempts to silence your voice, to curb your influence, or to sway your path are futile, for you remain untethered and undeterred. You are unyielding, a living testament to divine will and purpose, exuding a strength that both mystifies and unsettles. This inner power is not only formidable but also serves as a constant reminder to others of the sacred energy that underpins all existence. In each step you take, you affirm your authority. Your actions and words reflect a mission beyond personal goals, a mission that uplifts, awakens, and challenges. The world around you may resist or question your journey, but your focus and resilience remain untouched, grounded in a purpose that refuses to waver. Whatever trials or challenges present themselves, you are destined to overcome them, to rise above each barrier. Nothing, no obstacle or doubt, can diminish your strength or derail you from your path. Your purpose was ordained not by mere chance, but with divine intention chosen to fulfill a calling beyond comprehension. You are unstoppable, a force carrying forward no matter what arises to stand in your way. And the world senses this power, a truth it cannot control or alter, a certainty that fills those around you with a mix of awe and trepidation. In every moment, you overcome, embodying resilience, continuously aligning with the path set before you. Thank you for being a part of this journey, for sharing in a community that values spiritual growth and the pursuit of personal development. If you found insight here, consider letting us know by giving this video a thumbs up and subscribing to stay connected. Together we build a circle of like-minded souls, each dedicated to walking the path of inner growth and shining light on life's deeper truths. Until next time, continue to stay blessed, strong, and vibrant in your journey. Keep shining your light boldly. Thank you for being with us on Spirit Guide.